Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to Pathway English 106. My name is Brother Mark Davidson and I am your instructor this semester. I wanted to officially welcome all of you and I'm glad that you could be with us, each and every one of you. Um, I wanted to just give you this little video introduction to the course, talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing this semester. So. start off with just a little bit about me. Um, this is me, <laughs> sort of. It's not the uh, the best picture, but it is it is a representation of my physical appearance. <laughs> um, and um, as you can see uh, in the background there, I live in Arizona. Now, the funny thing about that is, well, and here's my family. We all live in Arizona. Um, the uh, family here is my wife uh, holding our our baby, who is a little bit older now in this, than this picture, um, and then the rest of our children. So there's seven children, and my wife is now pregnant with number eight. So we will be expecting another baby here very soon. But uh, recently, we moved from this on the left to this on the right. Uh, so we moved from the valley in Arizona, um, in the greater Phoenix area, up into the White Mountains. So um, still the same state, but it's amazing how much difference in in uh, terrain there is in one state but we're pretty happy where we are now so a little overview um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about just getting started um, some goals and some expectations so um, what is this course all about well um, there's several very basic elementary things um, you know to answer that question at least partially um, so in this course we're going to learn basic sentence structure we're going to learn basic paragraph structure um, we're going to learn some some grammar um, and uh, and things of that nature so we're basically going to learn how to write um, more effectively and um, the overall goal um, of this course is to prepare, is to prepare for English composition. So this is kind of a pre-English composition class. I wanted to mention a couple of assignments right off the top that you'll want to <clears throat> to be preparing for, um, at least mentally, if nothing else. Um, so the, the first one is the love letter, <clears throat> which is a short letter that we're going to write. Um, and the second one is an essay called This I Believe. So on the love letter, <clears throat> we're going to write a letter to something, not someone that you love. So we're going to write a letter to um, an activity, or a concept, a philosophy, something that you love. It's meant to be a fun assignment to practice sentences, paragraphs, etc. So this isn't a serious ex assignment in, in its, um, in its uh, composition, but it's going to help us kind of flex our muscles a little bit, get, get used to writing um, in college English format, <clears throat> um, it will have a. Uh, it will be a short assignment, 250 words minimum. Examples are available in iLearn, so you can. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to click on some examples to see what other students have submitted. <clears throat> We're going to begin this assignment in week two and turn in a final draft in week three. All right. The next one I wanted to mention is the. This I Believe assignment. So this is also a short essay, 250 word minimum. It's going to be a statement of belief and then so you're going to basically write something about what you believe. You can pick a topic. Um, <clears throat> now you're going to express some philosophical statements that explain your belief, why you believe it, uh, what has caused you to believe it, to believe this thing. Um, the first draft will be, we'll begin that in lesson four. We're going to do our rough draft and our final draft in lesson five. That's when those assignment. That's when those will be due. Will be in lesson five. So, wanted to just kind of <coughs> call those things out to you. Obviously, there are going to be a lot more assignments um, throughout these next several weeks, but these are two that I just want to bring your attention to, so that you'll start thinking about them. Maybe skip ahead a little bit and look and see how the assignments um, are going to play out, so you'll be prepared for them. And you're welcome to do that with any assignments as well. So, 
some goals. So let's talk about some goals here. Um, the, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the primary overall goal of this class is to help prepare you for college writing, but also for life. Um, because if you're, you know, if you want to 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 succeed, if you want to be um, professional and and be respected in life, part of that is going to be with how you communicate. And effective communication starts with grammar, sentences, and paragraphs. Being able to um, speak and write um, with proper grammar, being able to properly construct sentences and paragraphs. But what are some of your goals? What are some of the goals that you have for this class? Um, for what you're going to learn and, and how you're going to use it. Just be thinking about that. And um, you know, be also, you're welcome to share what you come up with in our discussions. Um, so here are some expectations that um, BYU-Idaho, that the Pathway Program, and then I as your instructor have um, for this uh, for this course for you as students. Um, so number one, follow the learning model. Um, I can't really say you know enough about the learning model. It is definitely inspired, and um, and I've been witness to how um, teaching one another and and learning from from one another primarily has been. Um, so very effective and, and helpful and useful in, in the lives of students that I've taught here. Um, also the honor code. So there will be plenty of opportunities that we'll have to you know to uh, to collaborate and to get feedback on assignments and things like that but I just want to you know really stress how important it is that um, we're honest in our dealings that we're not um, you know, stepping outside of the bounds of what is acceptable. If an assignment says to work on your own, um, then work on your own. You know, things like that. Um, be prepared. So, you know, this is obviously part of the learning model as well. Um, but you're going to be much more successful in this course and in this class and in things outside of this as well, of course, um, if you are prepared. So if you're, you know, reading ahead, um, taking a, a good look at what's coming up um, and be ready for it rather than waiting for, you know, Wednesday night to come around when you have assignments due to begin looking at it, you know, things like that. Um, and then submit your work on time. So that is also a really important aspect of this of this course and this, uh, this program is submitting your work on time. Um, there are due dates, so the due dates are firm. They're not. Uh, they're not suggestions. Um, they're not. You know, things that you know you, you really could think about doing. No, they are actually firm due dates. Um, and then you know, in order to enforce those due dates, I ha I do have to have some rules. Um, points will be deducted beginning six hours after a due date expires. Zero points will be awarded if the assignment turn is turned in more than forty eight hours after the due date unless qualifying circumstances, so that's really important, qualifying circumstances have been discussed and approved by the instructor. So if there is something, um, you know, some sort of a medical emergency, um, you know, some sort of natural disaster or something like that that has occurred which has made it so that you're not able to um, to complete and or turn in an assignment on time, you know, speak to me about that please. <clears throat> as far in advance as you can. Um, this does not include work conflicts. This does not include church callings. Those things we have to be able to to plan around, okay? Um, but to give you a little bit more breakdown on the late assignment policy, um, so six hours to 12 hours past due. So once your assignment becomes six hours past due, up until the point where it's 12 hours points uh, past due, um, once you uh, submit the assignment, there will be a 10% reduction in grade. So after 12 hours, it goes from 12 to 24 hours past due, there will be a 25% reduction in the grade. Um, so that means one-fourth of your grade will be deducted um, if it is between 12 and 24 hours past the due date. Um, from 24 hours to 48 hours, so that's a whole other day in there, I'm going to have to mark it down 50%. If your assignment is more than 48 hours past due, you will receive a zero. 100% of your grade will be reducted or deducted. 
Um, now, an important note, all assignments are due as of the specified due date and time in Mountain Standard Time, um, MST, or also known as Rexburg Time. So that is the time that it is in Rexburg, Idaho. All right, so this is actually, um, I'm really excited about the semester, uh, working with all of you and, and learning from all of you and teaching all of you and as you teach me um, you know we're all going to learn together we're all going to teach each other and I can testify that if we put our our best foot forward put forth our best effort if we seek the Lord's help in all that we do we will be successful and I testify to that in the name of Jesus Christ amen